For those of you who haven't played Life is Strange since it released in 2015 or you never played the original but you want to be ready for double exposure which is coming out in a couple of weeks, this is the video for you. Spoiler alert if you haven't played the original Life is Strange game. But photography is a huge part in Max's life. She's currently a student at Blackwell Academy who loves her photography class. In the beginning of episode 1, Chrysalis, Max starts off in Mr. Jefferson's class as a student preparing for a contest for everyday heroes. She feels self-conscious about her work in several points in the game where she doesn't feel that her picture is good enough to even be entered into the contest, but she is also considered by her friends, peers, and Mr. Jefferson to being extremely talented. Even in the mundane moments of her life, she finds the opportunity to take photos of rare beauties like the blue butterfly in the bathroom. She's still using an analog Polaroid camera and catches a lot of different imagery of nature, animals, people, and objects. For she is dedicated to studying famous photographers and wants to be a photographer herself in the future. Chloe even ends up giving her one of her dad's old cameras as a gift. So photography was actually one of the core mechanisms of the game. So Snap Me Photos was considered a collectible and if you collected all the photos in each episode it unlocked an achievement. I'm excited to see what and how they do photography in the new Life is Strange double exposure. This was a great way to be able to see the world through Max's lens and see how other characters interacted to the photos. For example, when she took a picture of v Victoria, it became a part of the plot. If that Victoria is very upset, she took a photo of her. So I would like to see more of that same interactions in the next game. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite photo op from the original Life is Strange.